Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I will present this video for dnnhero.com and in this video I'll be talking again about the DDR menu from DNN Garden and but in this in this in this video I want to go one step above uh, there is an option in the DDR menu that you can create some special effects when we are showing the the submenu navigation in a DNN site so the sample site here it has already the DDR menu installed, so it's already there. Now, I want to go to the DNN Garden website and I want to see the instructions on how to make, how to build some UI facts into the menu. Now, basically again, the site has already the DR menu set up. You can go to video 105, which I shown how to set it up. Now, Here's what we have to do. We just have to uh, to to build those special effects, which are called the uh, jQuery UI uh, effects. We need to add a couple of lines of code to the skin of the website. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm going to open the skin file for the for this for the test site. So here here it is, and under and in Dinan Garden. What I want to do is I want to follow the instructions here just to set to set it up like uh, like Mark Allen has done here where it says another example. If you move the mouse over, there is a, a menu that comes fading in from from the top left corner. Again, just this, the simple effect. I want to apply that to our site as well, our simple site. Right now, if you refresh the site and if you go to the test menu, it just pulls down. As a regular menu, now I want to give this special effect here. So, what do we have to do? We just have to open the skin file, which is open already. And again, you can go to video 105 to get more details about how to set up the DR menu. But from here, I just have to register this uh, this control at the top of the skin file. So I'm just going to give one more line. So here it's been registered. And then I will also now try to find, of course, the DDR navigation provider in my skin that is already set up. So here it is. Now it has just, just one, one simple tag. And what we want to do is we want to expand this a little bit. So if I go to DDN Garden again, what I'll do is I'll copy the extra lines of code that, that I have to add to the skin. And here I'm copying it. The first one is already there. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to give a line break here. I'm going to align this a little bit better. Here are the options and I'm going to save this. Now this should do it. So if I go to the dev site, uh, to the sample site, if I refresh, and if I move the mouse over, nope, it's not done yet. But but I did this on purpose. The the, the thing is that you have to be careful when you are copying this code to make sure that you you don't close this tag. This tag is originally closed because there is just one line. There is there are no additional uh, tags inside of it. So you have to make sure that this tag is not getting closed here. You have to remove the slash. And, and again, it's not getting closed anymore here. It's getting closed right, right here where it says slash GNN. So let's just save this. And now it should work. So if I move the mouse over, see? Now we have the effect going on in the, in the submenu. Now, there are more, more effects that you can implement instead of just doing uh, this fade in. If we go to the to the Indian Garden, it gives you a link to the jQuery UI show command, which points to this page. And in this page, you can see that there are different uh, effects that you can give to, to the menu in our case. Let's just get a shot in the fold option let's let's replace let's go back to the skin and instead of puff let's 
but the fold option. Now you can play around, there are other parameters here that you can play around, you can make it faster, you can make it slower, you can you, you have other options as well to play around and I will tell you where you can find very very good resource to to play around with those with those settings but let's save this let's go back to the site let's refresh and if I go back there you see there's a new effect now now again if you like it or not it's up to you but I'm just giving you the the different options here now I also want to give uh, one one more link and I'll put all of that uh, below in the link in the in the video post there is this this link to uh, to an ebook well that's just a simple simple chapter from this book about jQuery and in the section that they talk about UI facts you will be able to see all the different options and all the different parameters that you can play around to make to, to make this effect a little bit more interesting, a little bit more aligned to what you, you you want to do. So basically this is it for now. This is how you can modify the settings, the, the tag for the DDR menu to to give a special effect for the submenu navigation. Okay, thanks, bye.